Hey fam, how's it going? Hope all is well in your realm. I clearly have been doing the ghostly story time for this week, but I was fumbling over every single word. So fuck that. We're going to do the moody book tag. So I've been seeing this one around and I've been meaning to do it. I haven't done a book tag since, uh, the newbie tag video. And uh, it's not that I haven't wanted to, it is not that I wouldn't if I were tagged, but I just, you know, haven't. I keep intending on it, but then I just don't fucking do it, okay? Here we are, moving on. <laughs> Number one, do you consider yourself a mood reader? Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. I tried to focus on just one book at a time for a while, and that just didn't go very well. Number two, do you set TBR lists and do you stick to them? I mean, I try. Do books affect you emotionally? Does the mood of a book rub off on you? Yes and yes, it can. I mean, it depends, but yeah, usually, yeah, yeah. I feel like normally I'm pretty neutral, preferably, Normally, I'm pretty neutral. I just made myself sound pretty darn stoic, didn't I? I think even stoic people, like, you don't know what's going on inside there, right? I mean, nice try though, but I'm on to you. <laughs> anyway, when you're feeling sad, what do you read? Or do you not read when sad? Um, depends on the tier of my sadness. Usually, yes. Um, but when I'm like at my darkest silence and nothing, and that's not good. Number five, most often, do you use reading to escape, to learn, or to critically reflect? All three, depends on my mood. Number six, what is a book that made you laugh out loud? Okay, now laughter is my favorite sound, my favorite thing ever. Um, as long as it's not malicious, but yeah, because like, you know, whatever was going on in your life at that moment, and that's like, sometimes I'm just going to cling to that shit, you know? Um, but yeah, I love the sound, whether I'm causing it, whether I'm laughing myself or whatever, I love that shit. And it's very easy to make me giggle. I can't think of a book. Okay. Maybe that one with the cheeky mama escaping North Korea. I don't think, I don't remember. No, I think she made a joke at one point. Ha! Like most things, at some point I'm gonna giggle. I'm gonna la actually laugh out loud. What is a book that has made you cry? Or if you don't cry, one that really moved you? Oh goodness gracious. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue made me cry multiple times throughout. I remember not being that deep into it and being like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck. What is a book that you didn't even know how you felt about? Night of the Mannequins by Stephen Graham Jones. <laughs> I'm still working through my emotions. I really don't know anymore. I still don't know. I, I still don't know, fam. I still, I still don't know. I don't. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be 90 and just like, what the fuck though? Is this what I should feel? Am I putting in his hands? Are you more likely to read on a sunny day or a cloudy day? Dude, I am in the Pacific Northwest. If I waited for sunny days, well, it'd be great right about now, but mm, anywhere, anytime, whatever the fuck. If I'm going somewhere, I probably have a book in my purse or two or three. It depends on the mood. <laughs> Being able to have like books on my phone and shit, that helps. Do you usually set the mood when you read? Music, lights, smells, etc. Um, that sounds romantic as fuck. I, for most of my life, loved listening to music while reading. Like if I'm home and chilling out in my sanctuary, um, but these days it's a toss up between music or I've been throwing on like a reality show and just hearing voices. These days what I've been listening to has been the channel Nemo's Dreamscapes. 
I love that shit. So the idea is like there's different layers of sound, right? So like you're in your room. Okay, so say I'm in here and I'm reading a book, but like there's a fire going in the next room. Like the fireplace is crackling. Maybe someone's in the kitchen fucking around with the dishes and stuff. Sometimes you got rain and thunder going on. Like there's different layers to sound and shit. And just these oldies fucking and I mean like oldies fucking music playing and it's just it's very soothing and I can like when I get some good reading done it's usually with that channel playing um that or what's the new one I've been listening to I was just thinking about it I can't remember what the other one was now that I want to talk about it oh shit yeah if I do anything it's probably just like music the whole like headboard the top of the headboard for my bed is just covered with candles so i always have candles going baby i am always in the mood last one can you leap from book to book or do you need buffer time between them i can usually leap from book to book depending on if i freaking want to or not um the only time that i can think of recently where i needed some time afterwards was with the only good indians i apparently i didn't think i didn't like walk away from it feeling like i needed a minute but i walked away from it needing a minute apparently <laughs> thank you for putting up with my babble <laughs> i wanted to do this so i did it if you want to do it you do it don't worry about it and uh yeah i'm gonna I'm gonna give this ghostly story time another shot. We'll see how that turns out, won't we? <laughs> Till next time, please take care. I will try as well.